Natasha from theautismhelper.com, and this is a product preview of my file folder activities to match, sort, count, and more fish themed. So this is in the same format as my other file folder activities, just with a fish theme, which I'm really, really excited about because these are some of the favorite graphics I've bought recently. They're super cute, and I think they'd be great for boys or girls or a variety of age levels, and they'd be great for an underwater or animal unit too. Um, so I'm really excited about these, and since they're not seasonal, you can kind of use them all year too. So I'm going to do a brief um, run through of the different file folders included in here to give you an idea of what types of activities are in this set. So here's kind of the guide page. I like to take a lot of time to make sure to label all of my file folders pretty well. This makes your life so much easier when you're going to find the certain one. So there's a main title for each file folder, a tab title, so if you're storing them in a file cabinet they're really easy to find and then a title for the baggie which is the most important because the baggie is the thing that tends to get lost. So for each file folder there's a direction for setup, the main title, tab title, and baggie title for each one and they all kind of have this coordinating image which makes them really fast to set up, trust me. Um, so first is sorting fish by size, so big fish and little fish, so the big fish go on one side and the little fish go on the other side and there's a visual prompt as well. Next is matching fish, and so these are all exactly the same cutouts as here, so it's kind of matching by size and exact image. And then next is a little bit of an easier match with boxes, so nine different fish-related pictures just to do a direct match. These are great for independent work tasks. Um, next are ordering from big to small. Um, I realized last year that some of my kids had a lot of problems with these, so this is a really great one to work on kind of taking it a little farther from sorting and matching and doing that sequencing. So there's the visual prompt as well, big, small. And they have four chances for that. Then there's easy pattern, which are A, B, A, B. So here's the start of the pattern and they finish two times. The middle pattern is A, B, C. So three different pieces following that pattern. And the hard one is A, B, C, D. So four different ones. And this is pretty tricky. So I really use these middle and hard pattern ones for some of my higher kids to really make sure that that patterning skill is really established. Um, next is matching numbers 1 through 10, so matching the number to the number word. Um, I love these fishbowl images. These turned out so cute. I'm really excited. Um, and then the same with 11 through 20, which again, I think this is something sometimes I forget about. We do 1 through 10. I'm like, we still have to continue on with the next numbers. Um, next is counting. So here are the pieces that your student will match to these different boxes here, one through eight. Ordering the alphabet, um, this is a great one for some of your academic kids to really make sure they know the order of the alphabet. So they'll just put the letters in order here. You'll put hard Velcro on here and soft Velcro on the spot on the pieces and they'll put the letters in order. And then matching lowercase to uppercase. This is great for some of your kids with those pre-academic skills to really make sure that those foundational um, foundational components are really mastered and then the there's the board um, so that's it there's a bunch of different huge range of types of activities in here for your academic kids and your more you know pre academic kids as well to get them engaged in the same thematic unit uh, this was a product preview of file folder activities to match sort and count file fish themed by the autismhelper.com